First question is candidate often ask about the PSIR optional and correlation with GS paper. Uh, well, you know, I should say thanks to you for arranging such a nice talk yeah, and asking basic questions that students often confront, right? And the, your first question is, you know, the uh, scoring, you know, what is the possibility of a scoring uh, in this optional? You know, if one take PSIR as optional, what are the possibility? How much number they can gain? Let me first begin with uh, some record, right? Uh, if you look at 2020, 1863 students had written, you know, optional uh, mens uh, with the PSIR optional. And out of uh, 1863, 154 students finally get selected, right? Uh, similarly, if you look at, uh, you know, 2017, uh, around 1246 students had written men's, of, uh, you know, uh, with PSI optional and 117 get selected. So if you look at the scoring, you know, possibility, it is a high. If you look at only one, uh, you know, subject which, which has a higher possibility of scoring, which is physics, right? Uh, you know, otherwise, if you look at, if you compare with the literature, if you compare with the other subjects, right, public ad or sociology, PSIR has a, you know, high scoring, uh, you know, uh, possibility. But, you know, the first students should, you know, study well, right? Because you have also asked the second question, how does it correlate with the GS paper? And the students should not opt any optional paper, right? If it has, a, you know, overlaps with the GS paper, right? But yes, you know that GS paper, uh, PSIR as optional, it covers 60% of the GS paper, right? If you look at the paper, GS paper 1, where it actually covers the modern Indian, uh, you know, modern Indian, you know, uh, history. If you look at pay, pay, uh, GS paper 2, where, uh, you know, it covers constitution, polity, Indian government, you know, uh, then governance. So, pay, GS paper 2, you know, entirely covers by the PSI optional paper. If you look at GS paper 3, if you were, you can see the economic planning, development, you know, environment, right, which covers by PSIR uh, paper. And if you look at the, you know, uh, GS paper 4, which is ethics, right, and if you read ethics paper, you know, uh, Socrates is the, you know, father of ethics. When we start PSIR optional, we introduce students with uh, Socrates, okay, how he was a morally right. How, how he was a righteous person, right? And he was very concerned about the right conduct, right? So, PSI helps a lot in all GS paper. Not, uh, this is a, you know, last but not the least. If you look at the interview, G, you know, PSI as optional paper, it transforms the students and, uh, you know, the, the basic fundamentals and their personality as well. It introduces students with, uh, you know, so many you know, current affairs, uh, you know, what is happening, not in India, but also around the globe, right? So, it, PSIR as optional, transform students, right? So, they can, you know, able better to articulate their their answers in the men, in the interview, right? So, they, it PSIR as optional, it also helps students in, you know, interview, right? So, basically, yeah, if you look at the scoring, it has a high possibility. If you talk about the correlation to GS, it, you know, 60% GS paper covers by PSIR as optional paper, yeah.